I've had sort of an interesting question come up recently. The question is this, is it ever okay for a Christian to fight back? Like, like maybe even physically to fight back? I believe the answer to that question is yes. Now let me explain, hold on, let me explain. We may need, we hope it doesn't come to this, but we may need to fight back if fighting back is the only option left to help others or, or to protect others who are unable to protect themselves or maybe to defend the truth. Now there's a tension involved here. I, get, I know, I get it. There's a tension because obviously as followers of Jesus, we want to be people of love and peace and gentleness. Yes, absolutely yes. We want to be gracious more than gracious. We want to be merciful and patient and forgiving. Absolutely. This is referred to in Galatians chapter 5 as the fruit of the Spirit. For the Christian fighting back, again, we hope it doesn't happen, but if it would happen at all, it would be like after all other options have been exhausted. But here's the deal. We live in a world in which there are people, unfortunately, there are people who will take advantage of others to the extreme. They will push and push and push. They will bring hurt to others. They may even mock that which is true and right and sacred in a way that will mislead others and bring harm to them. And see, here's the thing. Sometimes, we hope it doesn't come to this, but sometimes these folks will not stop doing these bad and hurtful things unless someone steps in and makes them stop. I realize this sounds harsh. This is not you. I, I, this is not like me. I don't. I. I don't want this kind of a thing to happen. You know me. If you. If you know my heart, you know I wouldn't want this. But. Again, just there are certain realities. Consider Jesus clearing the temple. Do you know that story? It's found in John chapter 2. Here, listen to this. Uh, a lot of you have probably heard it already. John chapter 2, I'm starting at verse 13. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. In the temple area, he saw merchants selling cattle, sheep, and doves for sacrifices. He also saw dealers at tables exchanging foreign money. There's a lot of background that we could give to help understand this better, but just think of it this way. They were taking advantage of people. These folks who were doing this, they were taking advantage, and, and it wasn't good. Verse 15, watch this. What does Jesus do? Verse 15, Jesus made a whip from some ropes and chased them all out of the temple. Now, if you just kind of picture something like that happening, he made a whip from some ropes and chased them out. <laughs> uh, yeah, where are we? Yeah, he drove out the sheep and cattle, scattered the money changers, coins over the floor, turned over their tables. Then going over to the people who sold doves, he told them, get these things out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a marketplace. <laughs> Jesus was not playing patty cake that day, right? Hey, this is not a pleasant reality, this whole subject. Again, I, I get it. But sadly, there are many realities about our world that are unpleasant, and yet they are necessary.